Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on using Pythagoras theorem twice. And what I mean by using it twice is that we've got two right angle triangles. So we might use Pythagoras theorem on this triangle to say find this unknown length here. And then once we know this unknown length here, we could use this triangle to work out x. So let's just concentrate on one triangle at a time. Well, on this triangle on the right, we shouldn't use that first because we only know one of the lengths. We need to know two of the lengths of a right angle triangle to work out the third. But in this triangle, we know two of the three lengths. So that's the one we should start with. So let's think about that triangle separately. We've got the 24 at the bottom, the 25 is the hypotenuse, and we want to find this height here. Let's call that height h for the moment. And then remember Pythagoras theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the hypotenuse of the triangle. So let's substitute our lengths in. Let's take one of the shorter lengths squared, so the 24 squared. Then add the other shorter length squared, h squared. It doesn't matter if those two are the other way around. And that is equal to the hypotenuse squared, so the 25 squared. Now, if we just subtract 24 squared from both sides, well, h squared is equal to 25 squared minus 24 squared. Put that into our calculator, and that gives us 49. So if we square root that to just find h, that gives us h equals 7. So we now know that h is equal to 7. And because we now know two of the lengths of this right-angle triangle here, we can then use Pythagoras theorem again to work out x. So let's concentrate on this right triangle. We know that this height is 7, this bottom length is 3, and we're trying to find out the hypotenuse x. So let's use Pythagoras theorem again. Let's take one of the shorter length squared, so say the 7 squared, plus the other shorter length squared, and that is equal to the hypotenuse squared. Just put that into our calculator, 7 squared plus 3 squared, we get 58. And then to undo that squared, we just square root both sides, so x is the square root of 58. And if you press the SD key, we get 7.62, and it was in centimetres, and that is two three-sigmum figures. So that's the final answer.